There is so much to talk about and to learn from the episode of the spies. One idea, one brief idea that we can learn is as follows. The spies, after returning from their mission, report back, of course, the negative report to Bnei Yisrael, and they recite to Shamar Inuas and the feeling Bnei Anak Bnei and the feeling they report seeing these giants. And then they exclaim, We were in our eyes like grasshoppers, and so we were also like grasshoppers in their eyes. And the Medrash actually says that HaKadosh Baruch Hu was not upset, was willing to forgive the spies for saying that they themselves felt like grasshoppers. However, I do not forgive them for saying that we were like grasshoppers in their eyes. Because after all, who knows that I did not make the spies, that I did not make them appear as angels to the eyes of these giants, to these Nephilim. And Rav Henech Libowitz, Zechir Tzadik Levracha, the Rosh Hashiva of Yeshiva's Chafetz Chaim, explained that we see from here that there were two separate Averos. Obviously, there are, there's the Avera of the uh, Lashon Hara and the reporting back uh, 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 derogatorily against Eretz Yisrael. But beyond that, in this phrase of we were like grasshoppers in our eyes, so we were in their eyes itself has two additional Averas, because on the one hand, there was the Avera, the failure of using the Das, you, of using the intellect. And on the other hand, there was the failure of using the Hargoshas Halev, the feeling. Because, on the, because when it came to reporting back that they did not feel like the Nephilim had feared them, that meaning to say that they were grasshoppers in the eyes of the Nephilim, that was a lack of da'as. That was a lack of understanding, of knowledge, of recognition that a Kodesh Baruch Hu could do whatever he wants. That was a lack of recognition, of understanding that despite the fact that maybe they were so outnumbered and so physically weaker, that Hashem had the ability to make them strong. And at the same time, there was a Avera, there is a lacking in the hargasha and the feeling that they had. We were in our own eyes like grasshoppers. That not only was it that they had felt that the Nephilim had viewed them, the spies, as grasshoppers, but they themselves felt like grasshoppers. They themselves didn't recognize, they failed to realize that they were in the embrace of a Kaddish Baruch, that both on the one hand, they didn't have that connection to Hashem to realize that they could accomplish whatever Hashem would enable them to, to feel that closest, to feel that sense of safety and security being in the embrace of a Kaddish Baruch. And on the other hand, so too were we like grasshoppers in the eyes of the Nephilim, they lack the intellectual amuna. So both, says Rebibowitz, they lack the emotional comfort being in the embrace of a Kaddish Baruch Hu, as well as the lack of the intellectual understanding that Hashem could protect them, that Hashem could do whatever he wanted. And that, he says, is something that each and every one of us can recognize, the connection between our mind and our heart, that the impact that we have, in, that the thoughts that we have, how they impact our heart and our feelings, is how we turn that knowledge, the intellect, into a hargasha, into a feeling. And if so, our, if our perspective is skewed, if our perspective is not one of the tachon and emuna, then it will not translate, and we will obviously not feel that in our hearts. And the opposite is true as well. The more that we believe, the more that we can train ourselves to think, to understand, to recognize the Yad Hashem, the role that our Kodesh Baruch Hu plays in this world, the more we can intellectualize that and recognize that, the more we will able, be able to seep that down into our emotion, into our feeling, into our menucha sanefesh, our ability, as the Chobah Salavavos describes, that bitachon is the menucha sanefesh aboteach, the peace of mind that one has who trusts in God, and ultimately knowing that we are in the embrace of God, and that we have no need to feel or think or be like grasshoppers, but that we can recognize the giants that we are and embrace the love that a Kodesh Baruch Hu has for each and every one of us.